Uh, did you see that uh, now everybody's listening to this show? Everybody's trying to hop on the cornet bandwagon. I don't mind it when they hop on the wagon, Brian, but when they start dragging their feet, when they start dragging their feet. Um, now, the WWE, did you see this? You heard about this? You read about this? They The cameos, they had like, I don't know, a dozen or so of the top talents do cameos for people, and Alexa Bliss was charging $600 and somebody put it up on Twitter and did a, she did a 16 second cameo swinging in her little swing for $600 16 seconds if she had more syllables in her fucking name she wouldn't have been able to say her name there are a lot of WWE wrestlers doing this they are very high prices in limited numbers the question is, what kind of cut do you think the office gets on these? I have no earthly idea. I would assume, you know, here's the thing. They may have been fair to the talent in some respect and say, hey, we'll split this, uh, you know, the profit 50-50 because a cameo does get a cut. Um, but then again, since they've been so prickish, and acting like a real company uh, these days, do you think they'll limit the talent to their royalty rate that's in their contract? And nobody, Steve Austin didn't get a 50% royalty rate. Uh, nobody does because there's too many things to take out of it at, at, at that size of a company and all the distribution, et cetera. So you think they're getting like fucking 15% or 10% or whatever. I don't know what the royalty rates are in contracts up there these days, but that would be a heel move for sure. Because you know what they're getting. You know what the exact amount of these units that are being sold are. You know how much they're being sold for. And you know that the money's not going through you. It's going through the office. It can't be 50-50. I'll tell you what, if... if, if I was about to say, if I was selling cameos and somebody paid $600 for, well, I am selling cameos and I don't charge $600 and I do a lot longer than 16 seconds. So if, unless Alexa Bliss and everybody else was just like, fuck this, because we ain't getting shit off of it, uh, then they're really just, you know, $600 for 16 seconds of Alexa Bliss. I don't even know if that would work if she was in the room with me in person. But anyway, and speaking of my cameos, which are the 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 hit of the entire cameo organization, uh, we're going to have news next week on uh, we're coming back in July with the Great American Cameo Bash for all of the people who have been getting shut out and hadn't been able to get in because we put them on sale and they go so quick. We've got going to try to get myself in trouble with a special kind of promotion where, you know, I'm ch still checking with Hotchkiss to make sure we can do this if it really goes bad. But you may have a chance in July. More to come on that. And they won't be $600. And it'll be more than 16 seconds. Boy, this past week, I like an idiot. The day before Hotchkiss came over to shoot the cameos, I went out with the Monroe brothers and I got under the dogwood because we're pulling some of the rocks that I had put under the uh, under the dogwood. We're pulling them up and they're doing the same thing as they're doing with the maples and the ash tree and everything over on the other end and doing these nice uh, creek stone circles and et cetera. And I put some flags down and measured some shit. And the next morning I woke my shoulder, my neck, my back, I was miserable, so I'm standing here trying to do the cameo, and I do the I start to do the first cameo, and I realize my back is going to hurt me as I'm talking in a stern fashion, standing up for the next five to six hours doing these things. It's going to hurt me the whole way. And son of a gun, wouldn't you know, I the prophecy came true. So now I'm going to refrain from physical activity the day before any cameo shoots from here on out. Either that or I'm just going to get Hotchkiss to come over here and prop me up. Or just have him lift the rocks. Well, no, I've got the Monroes to lift the rocks. I Just the bending and the, the you know, measuring and the flagging and all that stuff. But I, I'm thinking because instead of him being behind the camera, we'll just leave it on a tripod and then he can come and, and just do like the human throne thing they used to do for Pizzeria Uno in the in in the dork order and he can do the you know, get down on all fours and I can sit there 
You got to charge extra for that. Would Okay, f- folks, would you pay extra if I was sitting on Hotchkiss <laughs> while I was doing the cameo? <laughs> it still wouldn't be $600. How much would you pay, folks? I would pay $600 <laughs> to see Hotchkiss sitting on Alexa. Or even vice versa. You want her? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, one or the other. Either, either one could sit on the other one. That would be such a sight, especially with the six fingers on Hotchkiss's left hand. It sounds like I'm going to be puking that black puke that Alexa has if I see all this. I don't know what's going on. How many <laughs> How many people do you think have their, their goddamn Alexa go off and do something when Monday Night Raw is playing or whatever and it hears the commentator say, Alexa, oh. You think anyone sent that in on the cameo? You know, people could send, hey, Jim, please, you know, mention me, mention my friend, whatever. You think anyone said, hi, Alexa, please mention me. Please puke the black stuff. <laughs> you know, please roll your eyes. Please have your head twist around. <laughs> uh, we still had a few people. Most everybody got the, the picture after the first few trial runs, right? And now they know to give me some details on people to work with and things about them and, you know, a little personal antidotes, as some people say about them or whatever but one guy literally wrote hey hi jim big fan cut a promo on me so i did two minutes on him giving me nothing to work with and and what the fuck how am i supposed to do this and it was still two minutes long and he fucking gave me a one-star review because yes yeah there's always one in every crowd all the five-star reviews right and then come the guy well we, all you did was cut a promo blaming me for not giving you anything to talk about. Uh, yeah, dumb shit. That's the idea. He didn't get it. So how the hell are you supposed to do it otherwise? If you just say, hey, cut a promo, I mean, you don't know anything about the person. Yeah. It, what blind. do you expect? Ever since, and, and, you know, this, this is all, let's, let's face it, because, I mean, I'm sure that nobody is thinking that I'm specifically sitting down and prepping for each one of these, how would the fuck would I remember 50 different people in 50 different places with 50 different people purchasing them and 50 something people that have different names of their kids and their neighbors and their friends and etc. So I go through one at a time where it's fresh. Ah, this guy, what's he got? Boom. Here we go. So it's, it's live. It's uncensored. It's off the top of your head because that way it's real. And so the one guy got a real two-minute promo about how he gave me nothing to fucking work with. 